Being in your early 20s can be very frustrating because you might probably be a fresh graduate or someone who is looking for a job or someone who is even just facing disappointments from friends and family members. It could be any of these problems. But these things I'm going to list in this video are going to help you reorganize your life, upgrade your life. So stay tuned and watch. Don't forget to watch to the end. The first thing on my list is self-education. You don't necessarily have to be a graduate to self-educate. You can read motivational books, books that help you in self-growth, or even books that will teach you one or two skills that you might you know, need in life. You must not be a graduate. I see a lot of people who are graduates, once they just graduate and get that certificate, they really don't think they should be reading any further. But that is not even the essence of education. If you have gone through your tertiary education and you drop everything relating to books and reading, then you do not know why you went to school. You need to know how to further your studies by yourself, at least for your personal growth, because there's a lot of things hidden in books that you will never know if you do not read. The second thing I'm going to say is get a skill. This is very important. You might have gone to school and you notice that you just graduated and you have no skill. There is nothing, especially if you didn't really go to a very quality university. I'm sure you might have been a graduate and even maybe the engineering or whatever it is you read, you don't even know how to do it. Well, you need to get a skill, a real life skill, because education these days doesn't give you skills. It doesn't give you skills. Go and take up a skill, be it tailoring, hairdressing, whatever it is, just to at least help you start life. You know, my list is start up a business. You can start up any business of your choice, but make sure that that business you are starting is in line with your passion so that you can be able to continue it in the long run. Don't start up something that you have no interest in just because of the money, because if you have no interest in it, that business is not going to stand over time. The fourth thing on my list is your mindset. You need to change your mindset because if you want to upgrade your life, you need to ensure that you have a positive mindset and a good look towards life. Don't be one of those people who maybe you see something you want to do and you start telling yourself, I can't do this. No, I'm not up to standard or, or whatever. You tell yourself you're ugly and all these things. You need to change your mindset towards life. You need to start seeing yourself in a positive Manner. You need to believe that that thing you want to start is going to be successful. You are going to be blessed through it. You need to build your self-esteem. Self-esteem is one of the things that is often overlooked, but it's, it plays a great role in your self-development. If you do not upgrade your self-esteem, I'm sorry you are going nowhere because self-esteem can make you to something you are supposed to do. You feel like... I am not physically presentable to do this or I can't do this. You need to upgrade your self-esteem, both physically and outwardly. You need to first love your physical appearance, love yourself the way God created you. Then love yourself inwardly because if you do not have physical esteem, sorry, self-esteem, you are going nowhere, my dear. You are going nowhere. Someone can just maybe like now, I you can just come out in the public to give a speech and some people will talk some, give some side talks or why is she looking so ugly? Why is she looking like this? And you feel bad. And those are things you can't change, but you feel bad because your self-esteem has not yet been worked on. So work on self-esteem. The reason why I'm emphasizing on this is that people often overlook it when it plays a major role in our lives. Another thing on my list is character development and self-control. Character development will help you go far. Learn respect, learn courtesy, learn how to talk. It will help you go far and it will even make you to create meaningful relationships with people. Self-control, on the other hand, can help you to have boundaries. Have boundaries with things like alcohol, women, guys, money. As in self-control will help you in a way that you least expect. You see a lot of people who lack self-control. They are suffering and struggling in life. And you may not really know. You might see their lifestyle and their bad habits and you'll be like, 
wow, I love to live this kind of carefree life. But in the long run, those people, even if they make money or even if they go higher in life, they usually come down. Either their character brings them down or their lack of self-control will bring them down. So you need to work on these things if you want to upgrade your life. It is very necessary. The next point I would like to make is mind the kinds of friends you keep. This may sound stupid, but it is very, very crucial because the kinds of friends you keep can make or mar you. Don't keep stupid friends who have nothing to offer rather than gossip and, you know, talking about boys, talking about women, talking about rubbish frivolities. You need to keep friends who are upgraded in mind. I'm not saying that you guys won't have your chit chat, your G's, your anything, but you need to also have meaningful conversations. Try to keep friends who also know where they are going in life, who are also goal oriented like you. And avoid friends who are in competition with you because once you have a friend who is actually an enemy, that person will make your life hell. This self esteem and self control and all these things I talked about. If they see you trying to correct yourself, they are going to draw you back because they will even help to reduce your self-esteem more than you even expect. So these kinds of friends should be avoided by all means. If they call you, you say, mm, you just try to use Thailand, dodge them, give a long rope and all those kind of things because such friends cannot add anything to your life. The next thing I would like to say is for you to build your relationship with God and I'm not talking about religious fanatism or simply going to church or claiming to be a religious person. That's not what I'm talking about. When I say build a relationship with God, I mean a personal relationship with God. Know God for yourself. Don't just follow sheepishly. Let it be that whenever people are talking about their experiences with God, you also must have had your own personal encounter with God that makes you sure that, okay, yes, there is a God. The next thing you should do is know how to use money, like master money, study money, learn to save, learn the kind of if, uh, kinds of investments you should make, learn the kinds of things you shouldn't do, learn how to cut your coat according to your size, learn, just learn how to use money properly because if you can't use money at your level, you are not going to go far. Don't go and be hanging out with people that spend 20K weekly just for hangouts when you do not have even 20,000 Naira salary. You need to learn how to cut your coat according to your size. This is important. Get a hobby. Get a hobby. I know this is something when you're in primary school, they'll tell you, get a hobby and all these things. And you'll be thinking they're joking. Get a hobby because these hobbies are things that are going to help you to be less clingy. You find out that when you do not have a hobby, you pursue people who are not pursuing you. You f look for friendships that don't even benefit you. You hang out with people who don't even like you. you your hobby could be probably writing, reading, playing games. We even have our phones now, but I won't advise you get addicted to social media. Just there are so many hobbies one can have. You might decide to have a sport that you love. You go to those sporting places if you have them. You, you practice those hobbies. If it is football, try to, you know, get in touch with your football skills. If it is horse riding, golf, just get a hobby, a real good hobby. If it is singing, improve your singing. That is it. Get a hobby because it will help you to solve a lot of nonsense that you see on a daily. It will help you to limit the kinds of stupid things that you do. It will help you to limit your boredom, your, you know, your bad habits. It will really help you because when you're occupied with your hobbies in your free time, you won't even have time to do some things that you normally do. The next thing you should do is upgrade your personal hygiene, hair care, fashion taste, you know, your skincare routine, your makeup, just upgrade it. I didn't say you should buy new clothes, but when I mean fashion taste, I mean upgrade your sense of fashion. Your personal hygiene should be your topmost priority. Your, the type of hair you keep, the way your hair is, you need to check it, it needs to be looking neat because one thing is that the way you dress is the way you are dressed. 
So you need to pay attention to your fashion, your personal hygiene, and everything relating to your physical appearance. Invest in your physical appearance. That's just what I'm trying to say. Another thing you should pay attention to is your health and your weight. One thing is that the healthier you are, the better for you. Your health is your wealth. I'm sure you've heard about it severally and countlessly. You need to watch your weight. If you find out that you are about to be obese, you work on it. I'm not saying you should be skinny. I myself, I'm not skinny. But you do not let yourself to get to the stage where you can't even walk comfortably, where you can't even carry yourself, where you are always out of breath. With when you just walk a few steps, you're already you're already breathing. You have to work on your health too. Avoid extreme sugary things. Avoid things that you know will jeopardize your health. If you already have an ailment, maybe diabetes, high blood pressure, or whatever you have, you need to. Limit, stick to your doctor's prescription. Stick to your doctor's prescription because you do not want to do anything that will make you to die an untimely death. Just stick to things that are good for your health and avoid things that are bad for your health. Another thing you should pay attention to is your home. Your domestic chores. You need to pay attention to your domestic chores. And this one is mostly going to, you know, all the rich men kids. There might come a time in life where there will be emergency. Even if you have maids, you have people who run it for you. There might come a time in life where you'll be in an emergency situation. So you need to learn how to do your domestic chores. Even besides your domestic chores or taking care of the house, you even need to learn other life skills that will help you. You don't want to be someone who who can't even help him or herself in cases of emergency cooking should be a basic skill that everyone should know washing the plates cleaning the house and i'm not this is not something i'm saying for just one gender because i know this point now it will fly over the heads of people who feel like oh our gender we are not meant to do things like this even if you're a man you can take up house chores especially if you live alone this will prevent you from meeting women who will just use you women who will just finish your life and destiny there are certain things you should be able to do for yourself the last thing on my list is value your family your friends people who love you people you are sure that love even your family i mean those family members that actually care for you even the friends i mean real friends value real relationships because at the end of the day not everyone is bad and yet not everyone is good but once you see someone who who is a quality friend who is a someone who cares for you and you care for that person too value them because such people are hard to find it doesn't matter if those friends or or family members are far away no matter how far apart you are you have to value them because at the end of the day they're the ones who are going to come through for you in trying times this life is this life is hard but don't make it harder by distancing yourself or creating a an environment where you don't even have anybody you have abandoned your family members you have abandoned everybody no no that is not how things work even if maybe those people will later turn out to be bad that is why you now have to have boundaries that's why you should have boundaries your secrets you should know the kinds of secrets you tell people anything you do not want to hear in another person's mouth keep it to yourself so that no matter how the relationship goes you are not going to feel like you know something just came out of me or something like that and another thing that you should know is how to follow your intuition when it comes to friendships and family you need to learn to follow your intuition if your mind tells you something in that first impression, watch closely and find out if that thing is true because at the end of the day, our intuition usually always end up being right. So that is the end of my video. If you learned something for this, from this video, just leave a comment below. And if you have more things that you feel like people should be able to do to upgrade your lives, please leave it on the comments 
below. I have just said all I think I know about upgrading one's life. And don't get me mistaken, I'm also in the process of upgrading my own life. So let's upgrade our lives together. Have a nice day. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.